What's up, everybody? Old school BMX rider here. Sorry, I haven't uploaded in a long time. I um, didn't have access to this channel for a while because I lost the password and I couldn't remember. And then uh, I started college. I'm actually on my third quarter of welding and fabrication school, so I have been focusing on that and being a dad, but. I wanted to let you guys know that I have some really cool things going on here because I have pretty much got a new collection from what you've seen before. So to start out, we have a 1985 Takara Power Moves, original pen standers, HI brakes, freestyle bars, ACS gyro, just gorgeous bike. Blue Dominator. Then we have a 1994 Dyno VFR that is in perfect condition. Then we have my 89 VFR, which you guys have seen. It was one of my first bikes that I did. Recently, anyway. Then we have a 1987 Schwinn Predator Phantom. Huffy Bandit, which was my first freestyle bike. Um, other than my 87 Schwinn Predator Freeform EX that got stolen. Then I have two of these twin 1992 Diamondback Viper CBs. The other one is right over here. Same exact bike. A 1991 Schwinn Predator Wire Oversize with array of wheels on Joyta cups. ACS Gyro. ACS stem, freestyle handlebars. Then I have an interesting bike. This is a 1996 Dino Sonic. They made it for two years only, one year in this color, which was 1996. And it's aluminum. It's extremely light, but they have a tendency to crack. This one I got really cheap because it does indeed have some cracking that I will fix as I am a welder now. Then we have a 1987 Schwinn Predator Gremlin that I got from my kiddo so him and I can twin it up on our Predators. So he's got a little Predator, I think it's a 14 inch or a 12 inch, I can't remember. Then over here we have my BMX Rally Challenger 1987 and my 1981 Free Spirit FS 400 which you have seen before. And then we have this 87 Schwinn Predator Freeform GS Girls bike, which I pirated parts off to finish this Predator Phantom, which is gorgeous. I still have my 87 Hutch XL with all the parts and including some 88 Pro Series XL cranks, which I kept when I sold that bike. Still got my bars and forks for the Hutch and my seat. And, uh, I have a 1985 Cycle Pro Raider frame, as well as a 1981 Raceline BMX Competition. Both of those are department store bikes, if I know. Then we have something very interesting. One second. All right. So I got a call from a friend of mine who... Um, travels all over the place getting huge lots of bikes both new and old and in between and uh, basically scavenges parts off the ones that are beyond saving and then gets some really nice bikes which he flips because he buys in bulk a lot of the time and uh, he hit me up and he's like hey man I got an old red line that I don't really have a use for do you want it and I was like well how old because most people they say old red line and it's like a 93 RL t you know 240 or something so uh, I hit him up and uh, go to his house, and I see this red line. Well, what set me off was these decals, because those are clearly 80s. Then I start looking at the top tube spacing and the sealed bearing and the MX-1000 brake. And then... I realize, oh, wait a minute, these forks are tapered. This is a 1981 Redline Proline. <laughs> and I paid $15 for this frame and fork. 
it's extremely rusty and the chrome is peeling in a lot of places so I'm thinking about just having it re-chromed because this bike is probably worth saving a Redline Pro Line for 15 bucks and I had no idea what I was getting so yeah that's a bike that I'm pretty proud of my kiddo's over here sleeping his little butt off but he doesn't wake up for anything but my last bike that I've recently got is this 1985 Kent Rampage and uh, I had a Kent BMX when I was a kid a 12 inch and that was my first bike ever period and uh, so when I saw this I had to get it picked it up for 50 bucks and it's surprisingly original other than the wheels and the seat maybe the seat post but the handlebars frame and forks and cranks all original but uh I also have a couple of sets of busted up Skyways. Um, I had a set of ACS Z mags and a set of Peregrines and a set of Oak GKs and they all sold. And I have this mint set of 1979 Skyway Tough 2 coasters. <clears throat> I'm saving those for something. I don't know what I'm going to use them on yet. But yep, I just figured I'd show you guys that I'm still in it. I've just been uh, busy with life. So thanks for watching. I hope you guys watch this.